the patient's opposite normal ear. This is the CT scan of the chest with the cartilage and it is the true size. So it is the actually the size that we are going to get when we harvest. So from here now, between right and left, I think the curvature of the 6 and 7 of the right is much better. So we have decided to use the right side we are going to harvest from there. This template now, we try to precisely see which part of the cartilage we are going to take out. This allows us to take a very precise only as much as we need cartilage and therefore we don't have to put anything back or make some new ribs. I think it's very popular for people to remove a lot of cartilage and then put it back. I think it is a wrong strategy because the pieces that you put back don't really give you the strength. On an x-ray you can see the cartilage but that's not exactly. So removing only as much as is essential is, is the most important uh, thing to make sure that the chest does not become weak. Bringing it out and again putting it back is not and never the same. Now regarding the framework, these are small modifications. To fit it, we may cheat by half a millimeter here so that the helix has a strong support and in this case, vast majority of the framework will fit and only the tragus and anti-tragus will not fit. That tragus and anti-tragus we will take out from here. So we already know that we need only from here to here, from here to here and this for the helix. So just the bare minimum. So this planning helps us to modify the framework and accordingly adapt to the specific conditions of the patient. Uh, this is a true size CT scan of the child's uh, rib. So the this is the bone, the bright white and this is the cartilage. So majority of the chest is made out of bone and this is just in the front there is a cartilage which when you take you do not cause any harm to the chest. So how we plan the line of incision, it's not the entire length. This we take the midline, line of the, the middle and then we decide okay this is 6, 7 and 8. 8 we definitely always need to go take the entire length of the 8. But 6 and 7 we depend on what uh, the, the, the framework needs. So we go to the axis which gives you the best. So with a minimal cut, with a cut which is probably just so much, we will be able to not retract tissues too much and we will be able to see. So then we mark this axis, this is the long axis and we mark the angle. So this is the angle, this is what we are now on the patient this midline is easy then from the ziffy sternum we will mark this angle and then plan our incision this allows us in the smallest possible incision to get the best quality but the only as much cartilage as we need we do not take a whole lot of cartilage so we have very little cartilage so we don't have to put back anything a lot of people are putting back the, the extra cartilage in the first place do not harvest extra cartilage that is the key because what you put back is not really the rib it is just cartilage and it's not the same as the strength of the chest when you take only as much as is required you are not harming the chest at all the data that we collect our ct radiologist dr sneha she is fantastic she gives us the length of each of the rib she also gives the width which is there in the other but this is like 12.5 the entire length and these lengths of the six and the seven also given so every rib right left we, we can compare which is how is which one we should take we are going in this case we are going to take you see these measurements to the fraction of a millimeter they are measured